Paul Pogba, one of the most talented players I've ever seen in terms of potential. You think this guy can achieve anything. I remember in World Cup 2018, you had those big players, those Varans, Lloris for France, huge. Mbappe, who was the starlet. When he's holding team talks, everyone's listening to him. A real leader. Came back, wanted, left Man United, went to Juve, did his thing, came back to United. He was ready to take over the big buy. During his time at United, we saw flashes. Sometimes you're like, whoa, this guy is future Ballon d'Or. Like he was that good. There's times where you thought, oh, we want to be seeing more. Sometimes we don't know if it was purely down to him or also the situation at United. He always seemed respectful. He wasn't someone that came out and just ah, rushed to the media. And I think he was treated badly when people just get onto him for dancing. Just because you dance, don't mean you ain't trained. You could be dancing for f five minutes in a day. But why, why is it all right for Pogba and not Rashford now? I didn't say Pogba. What, what do you mean? What, say that again. Do you understand what I mean now? No, can you put it in context for me? Because Steve, you want to put it in context for me? Context. Yeah, uh, Pogba can do what he wanted by the sounds of things, but, but Rashford needs to think of the people. I think is uh, what the, the gist of the last video was. Yeah. No, 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 no. If you guys saw the previous Viber 5 video, you'll know what these guys are getting on. Just onto. comment short, Joe. Yeah, just comment. What comment. I'm saying, just comment. What I'm saying <laughs> is with Paul Pogba, people were getting on to him for put in a oh, TikTok or it was like five he's, he's dyed his hair he's not serious yeah it's like you can't if yeah, he's having he's no other football having an haircut exactly mm -hmm. you know and again sometimes sometimes I think timing is an issue as well mm -hmm. you shouldn't be you know doing a whole heap of a madness if that's what it was when your team ain't doing well but he's now he's obviously went back to Juve injuries issues with his brother potential witch doctor stuff I don't know which by the way Yo, like someone needs to go and leave a Yelp review for that witch doctor because oh my god, does that look like it paid off? <laughs> and then on top yeah, of that, well you've got that, four, you've got now a four year ban being sanctioned on Paul Pogba hmm. via v Vada, who two things they deal with the boxing and the doping and two things. Incidences. One, four years is a madness. I've never heard of somebody getting four That's years. That's because it's Vada. Two. I already know what the comments are going to say. Why is he allowed to talk about this? And, <laughs> I, and we have spoke about this on here, yeah, but yeah. there's there's elements that are just tuning in for the first time and are already like ah, ready to start. Aren't you a drugs cheat? Mm. So are you a drugs cheat? No. <laughs> Stephen no. Hudson is hilarious, you know. No. <laughs> but you know what? It's 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 um yeah. Firstly, I, I, you want to know the detail behind it. I think there's a lot uh, in media. You comment about stuff, and I think drugs is and. That is, is you need to know the detail. Um, and I really think, I, I've been through this. So for those who haven't, who don't know or are not aware of it, I was banned for eight months for drugs, uh, for missing a drugs test. That's the key point there, context. Mm. Missing a drugs test, not taking the drugs. I was never found guilty of taking drugs. I done test after test after test. Is that why you grew um, your hair? Yeah, so I, I end up, everyone knows that I had braids when I played and I only ended up growing my hair because in the army, you can, you know this, Steve, if you grow, you, they can test it from, I think it's like three or four centimetres. That goes back Eight for, months, is it? Uh, months? I think it's a year okay. worth of uh, time so that you, they can test if you've taken anything within that year that's previously gone by. So that's why I grew my hair, to do that test, to justify and to prove to the authorities that I hadn't taken any form of drugs. Did you go all. back the same day or offer to go back the same so day? So what happened is that the drugs, the, what used to happen is the drugs testers used to come into the training ground, pick four people and the doctor would come out and say, listen guys, you guys are doing the drug test. They're in that particular room. You guys go in there and see them when you're ready. So do your training session, lot goes on, go in the training room, bit of banter, some having a massage, some in the gym, some having food. I think I had a massage, I was messing about, having a laugh in the, in the change room, um, get changed. And I was meeting Al Berkovic, who used to be my teammate at West Ham, he's playing for Man City at the time. I was meeting him in, in a Selfridges for a bit of lunch. Run out of training ground, gone to lunch. So you forgot? I was one of the ones picked to do a drug test, so I forgot totally, right? And anyone knows me even now, I'm forgetful, yeah? But, this is, but people think I'm just the saying that, yeah? Stupid fucking right. thing. Mate, mate. Eight months? Yeah. But, 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 they but, won the fucking league. But also, can I say something? No one, no, no, you know, like, 
a drugs thing. I, I swear to you, even at the time when I'll, I'll get to it, right? But I go Selfridges, and you with you, you with your mate, your phone's on silent. And your phone's on silent most of the time anyway. So you're sitting there eating, <laughs> and all of a sudden I look at my phone, and I said, I've got about thirty missed calls and messages, and I was like, Rio, ring me urgent. It says club doctor. So I rang the doc and I said, Doc, I said, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Doc, are you all right, Doc? Yeah. Rio, you've, you have training ground. Yeah, I'm in Selfridges having a bit of food. Did you do your drug test? Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Tell them I'll be back, I'll be back in half an hour. I'll come and do it in half an hour. No, no, they've left. I said, give me their number. I'll call them. I'll try and get them to come back. No, 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 Rio, they've, they've gone. So get me the number, Doc. I'll, I'll ring them. It's fine. It'll be all right. It's all right. I didn't have a clue how serious this was. I thought I'll go back, I'll get a drug test. Even if they've gone, I'll do it. The doctor can get me another drug test anyway. I'll do a drug test and it'll be fine. So I, the thing that I thought would help me after this, in hindsight, is that I was, I, were, I didn't turn my phone off and hide. I was ringing the drug testers. I rang the FA. I rang the club doctor to ring these people. And they said, no, 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 we're not going to come back. We left now, that's it. We're not going to come back, which is fine. They, they can make that decision. But Did you I'll, know at that moment that no. them not uh, getting a sample was th the big deal it was going to be? No, I, I went home and I remember um, my missus at the time went to me, uh, is this serious? I went, no, 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 I'll, I'll be after going tomorrow. I'll probably have a test there for me tomorrow. I'll just come back and be fine. Oh, I swear to you, I didn't know where we were going with this, right? So then the man, I get in and the, the doctor says, really, I think this is, could be serious. Like, I thought you, you miss a drug test. It's like... They, I've looked at the rules and the regulations. This it can be deemed as like a as as, it, as a serious as someone who's taken drugs as a serious ban. Sorry to interrupt, but what did Sir Alex say? At this point, you weren't even involved. Like, and then Ooh. and then, so I'm sitting there going, are "You sure? Are you, uh, I've been ringing them. I've been trying to get a drug test. I'll do a drug test now, not a problem." Mm. And then after a couple of days, the doctor said, "Listen, it's really serious. Uh, like, you're gonna the England squad's getting announced, and the FA have said that they're not going to put you in the squad because of this." And all the England boys were going, no, we're not going to play. And I was like, no, I had to go down to the, F the FA. Yeah, I had to go down to the FA. <laughs> oh, Gary Neville. Yeah, I had to go down to the, I had to go down to the Gary CEO. Gary Neville is the guy, isn't speak it? To, to, um, Union leader. <laughs> I had to go, and go down to, to speak to the CEO at the time with David Gill. Um, oh, is that why I mentioned it in the interview? Yeah, yeah with the manager came and David Gill come down there and they, they were arguing with the FA going, what are you doing? This is a joke. Like you're, you're, You not picking him now before trial is deeming him guilty before a trial. Before, before a trial. Mm. Like it's, no, no, that doesn't happen. And in the meantime, the doctor had built, and the, the, the lawyers had built up a bit of a case saying that this, it was weird because a City player had done this, exactly what I had done, a carbon copy. Mm. One of the youth players, wasn't it? No, 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 it was like a French player had done it, exactly what I had done, but hadn't rang around to get a drug test after, just went missing, didn't even get a ban. I don't even think he got a fine, right? And I was like, well, I'll be all right then. If that's a precedent that's been set there with him, I'll be. I'll, I'll just get maybe a slap on the wrist and maybe a fine, not a ban, because he's done what I've done. So immediately I started thinking, right, I'm going to be the scapegoat here. I'm going to be a scapegoat. You. United, me, big transfer, play for England. Mister Mister Gill said as well that you guys went a little bit heavy on him as well. Yeah, yeah. Just like, like, no, we went against the FA straight away and said, like, and really maybe could have done it in a more cordial way, more like, listen, let's, let's get around the table and talk a little bit more. Yeah, but you guys were going straight the legal. Manager and, and, and David Gill went, no, nah, this is legal. We ain't having this. We know we're, we're not wrong. There's a precedent been set. He ain't tried to hide anywhere. He's shown you that he hasn't taken drugs because he's grown his hair and done the test from a whole year back. So it goes a whole year back. He hasn't taken any drugs. So what are we, did, what are we doing? Did here? the club make you take tests? Yeah, I, but I, like, I was openly but, active to do but that. But I'm talking um, about outside of, because obviously you got like the people yeah, at the tests, FA. I've done tests. But then with the club, yeah, did they have an come, internal? Yeah, that all come in my court case. It was all did there, you do like, the, the FA's actual one like the day later? Yeah, yeah, I've done the FA one. I've done, I've done the club one. Done, and then the hair test is the killer one because that goes back a whole week because that's like unequivocally, it, it, that's it. Mm. You know you know that you're getting everything after for, for that last, last year. So, I thought you were just growing your hair for the culture. No, no, no. Then it was culture. <laughs> yeah. but, but it was... um. So I'm well placed to sit and chat about this because mm. I've been through this. Mm. And I sit here and sit to myself. So, and I, I'm not going to jump straight away and go, right, he's guilty because I've been here in this position. Mm. And I know Paul. Um, I played with him and I've known him well enough after playing with him. And I need to hear from him. I need to hear from him. And then you need to see some some facts why has Vardar done it, by the way? Have the, have the Italian know. League got I don't Vardar know. They, they must be, each individual 
association, like country, have their own way of doing these things. And I think they obviously use VADA, which is different to what we use here. Mm -hmm. But if there is something that's not right with this, if I was sitting there now and my time was again, I was told by my lawyers at the time and by the club, let the lawyers deal with it and just let it run its course and just hope that it actually they do the right thing by you. If Did, I had my when time, they got eight months, it stayed at eight months. There was no, was I there appealed, any? I appealed. I know you I appealed, it but like it just yeah. kept at eight yeah. months. Like it didn't affect it. Yeah, so I, I said, if I had my time again now and I was Paul Pogba now and I'm innocent, I'm chatting. I'm I'm getting I'm getting I'm coming on five, and I'm talking and I'm telling the people, this is what happened because. No matter what happens, yeah. After your drugs case, and you're and they said that you haven't taken drugs, so in the statement that they write, they ban me for eight months, fine me x amount of money, but in there they say we know that Rio never took drugs. We're not he's not being found guilty of taking drugs. He's just missing the yeah, test. If that was today's right? world, yeah, you would have just had to post that on IG, man. Yeah, I'd have been straight out saying no, 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 no. I ain't took no drugs, and I'm doing a whole interview and telling people what's happening. So why didn't you speak back in the day? I just said I was advised by the by the the lawyers also speak to him and the, the clubs and also they weren't these type of platforms about mm. this is where you're talking to the people do you know what I mean you speak then you speak to a newspaper the guy writes it down and then takes the bits out he wants to use yeah. you don't mm. get an unedited yeah. hour and a half sit down and here's what actually it's happened it's the person who's writing it's kind of feelings about it and then their personal feelings are in there somewhere where no no I want a pure this is just me chatting to you and we're having a normal conversation. So he, so Paul Pogba, he's he's got the four year ban for taking testosterone. The they found testosterone in his system. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if you can say taking testosterone. Yeah. I think now he's come out and said it's accidental. Okay. My understanding of it, that's very difficult to do. But I don't know his particular circumstances. Got you. For it. it could be anything. It could be that he might have. I don't know. He, he could have had a. For argument's sake, he could have. He could have said to a doctor, listen, is this, or someone could have advised him even and said, listen, this is something you might, it'd be good for you to take because mm. he might have had an issue or something like that, I don't know, an injury or whatever that he wanted to see if he can get right. And the man, someone would have gone, yeah, yeah, that, this is, you can take this. Is it legal? Yeah, yeah, it is. He might have checked with someone in his team or his club or whatever. They might have gone, yeah, it's fine. And he does it. And all of a sudden it, it comes up in his system. Or there's the other way, which everyone seems to be thinking it is, that where he's just gone, listen, I need something to help, to help me here. Give me it. I'm taking it. But there's so many ways that this could have, there's permutations to this and it could have gone. That's why I say he needs, I think he needs to speak and say whether they think it messes up the court case or what. They've given a four year ban. If it ain't gonna be four, it ain't gonna be, I don't think it'll be two if he, if, if he appeals because these people wanna make sure that they're gonna get their bit, amount of blood and make sure they put some a precedent down for other people. Mm. So I think he's got to look after himself here. And I didn't take drugs. The paperwork, the small print, when they done the statement, when they give me the ban, said I didn't take drugs. But you see the comments sometimes when I say something or in, on some of the channels on my social media. Some people, oh, you're a, you're a drug drugs cheat. cheat. You're a drugs cheat. I've never took drugs in my life. I don't take drugs. Because of the ban, people are going to, it's the easy one to go for. That's put, fine. Put some timber on since he finished, I might say. Might, might <laughs> just just um, someone said, look that he'll, he'll be 34. <laughs> he'll be 34. <laughs> Once this ban is over, if the four year sticks, Saudi does he have a career? <laughs> <laughs> does he have a career at thirty four years old? Yeah, Al Etifak or something, but no. Uh, I mean, the way the difficult. Saudi league's going, difficult. even even that level is going to be difficult it's at that time in four it's, years. It's, it's, I, I don't even want to think about that. Mm. I want to hear the facts. Four years, four years. Man. I've never heard about eight four months. Years. Must have been a killer anyway, bro. Eight months. How old are you then? Like 23, 24? something like that. But the bro, it, but this is the thing. I had something to train for. Mm. Eight months was a long, and, and there were dark moments in that time where you're going. Yeah, you've never seen Rocky tunes on the plane. Yeah, man, <laughs> mate, crazy, serious. But but you had the uh, the the privilege of still going in to train because obviously yeah. the club were on your side. You were still able to train with the players. What was Sir Alex like when he found out? Did you get a bollock in for it? That's or was a he good just question. Like, no. Fucking straight onto the. Procedure? He was straight like you can't. We can't have this. This is what I mean. He was like, we can't have this. This is a travesty. This is like you have. Call you a bell and he just said to me, "He said you're stupid dip. for missing the drug test." Yeah, he yeah. did have a little go, like you did. That's what I was after. But he was more. He was more. <laughs> he was more like, "This ain't right, though. Why are they? Why are they using you as a scapegoat?" Did they change the system at yeah, Carrington it, after? It, it, it became yeah. actually sorry a bit bigger. It became more not about me really. Far I don't think for Alex Ferguson. I think he he doesn't like to see anybody turned over. But I think it was like, "This is because it's Man United." 
it was more that for Sir Alex, I think. We had a few incidents yeah. where people got punished that we seemed to get more. Yeah. Than, than everything. I mean, the, the Eric Cantona one. Yeah, that's another one. So he'd been there before with a player being banned and, and, and thinking, you know, that's more than we should be getting. Do you know what I mean? So this was another, like, no, like the, the, the system are trying to fuck us, really. That's what he was saying. But yeah. he's also the most fine manager yeah. in, um, in Premier League history. Yeah. Do what you want when you win. But the whole, the whole, the whole drugs testing situation changed after my case. So now they stand at the side of the pitch and yeah. escort you off the pitch. Yeah, they, hold, they basically hold your hand and watch you piss. What about our training? You talk about the pitch on training, or you talk they about go to the pitch oh, okay, on training. Thought, sorry, they, the game. After a game, mm -hmm. Champions League final mm -hmm. in Moscow, I had to go in the, in the chain in the, and do a drug test. I'm yeah, you, a celebration. You weren't missing that one, innit? Yeah, Straight but, away. but you're in there, and, and they're stating that you can't leave, and so I'm drinking mm -hmm. beers and everything, trying mm -hmm. to go as quick as possible. When mm -hmm. you're in the army with it, they 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 shut the camp gates. No one's in or out until they've tested the number of samples they want, and sometimes it's a 100 percent test of the entire camp. Mm. No, not like four or five randoms because yeah, yeah. you know people could slip through a net with that, couldn't they? Mm. Sometimes they go the lot of you locked down, and it's every yeah, single it's person. Crazy. Did you get? Did you get teammates like flipping it, Rio? Like after they come no, for testings, after I was lucky. Or? I got, I got, I got quite a lot of people were sympathetic. Mm. I think because of the case that happened to the city player before me, every, mm. everyone's saying there's a precedent set. Like that's just you just follow that. If that's the case there, you just follow that. Mm. Why is it different now? That was more, always my and why I was against the FA. Like why, why are you changing shit and moving the goalposts for me? What's so special about me that you have to go, right, we're going to hit you with something totally different for the same offence? Why? 